Welcome to the NetSuite video series provided by RAND Group. My name is Jamie Setterbo, and in today's video, we will be going over how to create an inventory item record. On this screen, we will select the type of item we want to add. While you are on the screen, if you click this help button, NetSuite will provide a help page explaining more about creating item records. On this page, you can click item types, to read more about the type of items you can create in NetSuite, we will select Inventory Item. This is the Inventory Item Entry Form. Your screen may look different based on your settings or customizations. For example, your field names might be different. All the fields you see with an asterisk are mandatory fields, and if you click on any of the field names, you get a field help pop-up box further explaining that field's use. We are going to go over all of the mandatory and most common fields to get you started with adding inventory items. We will start with picking an entry form from this drop-down menu. We are going to select this primary inventory part form for this demo, but you might have different forms for different types of items. We're going to input an item name or number in this field. This name will appear in lists on transactions. Here we will input a UPC code. And in this display name field, we will enter what we want to print in the item column of sales forms. This drop-down menu will provide us with a list of unit types that we use to purchase, stock, and sell this item. For the item image, you can click List and select an image file you already have stored in your account, or you can click this plus sign and add an image from your computer. Just choose the file, click Save, and that image will now display on this item record. In the Inventory sub-tab, we will select a costing method that will determine how our cost of goods sold calculations are handled for costs associated when buying the same item at different purchase prices over a given period. Here in the Pricing sub-tab, I'll enter a list price, and you can see that the various discount levels automatically populate it. In the Accounting sub-tab, we will pick a cost of goods sold account to track the cost of this item. Then we will choose an income account. It's important to note that if no income account is selected, the item will not show up in the item drop-down list for sales transactions. We will track the value of the inventory on hand for this item and the account we select here for asset account. If you have e-commerce, features enabled in the web presence section of your account, this store sub-tab will give you options for how you want this item to display in your web store. We will click Save, and we have now created an inventory item record. Thank you for viewing this video provided by RAND Group. If you have any questions or would like more information on NetSuite, feel free to contact us.